All right, part D. It says for zero or twenty is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to twenty-five. So for time from time twenty to twenty-five, function w that models the water temperature has first derivative given by w prime of t equals zero point four root t times the cosine of zero point zero six t. Based on the model, what is the temperature of the water at time t equals twenty-five? And this. Um, it, it's, it's an integral problem. It's a fundamental theorem of calculus problem. Pretty easy one, actually. Um, and so, but what we know is this. All right, I have time zero, 20 to 25. And what I know is that if I were to integrate from 20 to 25 um, of this derivative I know that that would be equal to the change in um, water temperature from time 20 to 25. So it would be W of 25 minus W of 20. Okay. And if I add W of 20 to both sides, um, we can see that W of 25 must equal the integral from 20 to 25 of w prime of t dt plus that's um, we'll call the starting temperature it's starting for this interval um, plus w of 20. All right, and um, it would be worth our while, at least for our work, to show to put the um, substitute these functions in. Okay, so this will equal integral from 20 to 25 of, and let me glance back so I have this correct, um, the function is 0.4 root t, so 0 0.4 root t, cosine of 0 0.6, or 0 0.06 t, times the cosine of 0 0.06 t dt and then w of 20 from our table was 71 so 71 degrees Fahrenheit at that point in time so plus 71.0 and look at this this is a terrible thing I don't know how to get the antiderivative of this maybe yeah I'm not seeing a good way but it doesn't matter because this is the calculator section. They expect you to be able to um, approximate, get a numerical solution for this by um, going to math 9, the, the numerical integral of this function. So um, 0 0.4 times the square root of, I'll have x in here doesn't matter, I could have had a t, um, multiplied by the cosine of, and make sure your calculus in radians, of course, 0 0.06 t, and I'll have an x in there, whatever, um, as x goes from 20 to 25, plus that starting temperature of 71.0 degrees, and that gives me, after a few seconds, 73.043. And they want us to round final answers um, to three decimal places. So that'll be approximately equal to 73.043 degrees Fahrenheit.